I talk about a lot of tools and programs and things you can use for your live stream on this channel, but a lot of them cost money and I get a lot of complaints about that, whether it be the hottest new gaming phone or some cool capture card or webcam or things like that. It's all about spending money. Consumerism is not something everybody's a fan of and for that, I understand, but that's the reality of hardware and gadgets. However, when it comes to software or web apps or online tools, there are actually a lot of free options for you to choose from where you don't have to spend money. And we're gonna be covering those here today. I'm Eples Vox. welcome back to Stream Guides. Today we're covering six free tools for live streamers that might help make your life quite a bit easier and help you focus on making some cooler, better streams. First up, we have a tool from my buddy Lobo, who I had on to interview with regards to Discord Go Live, and he's actually gonna be featured twice in this video, but first up, we have his website, Streamer Links. This is a really cool platform which allows you to basically create a mini website for free that features all of your different social platforms. So you wanna be able to send someone a single URL for them to be able to find you, especially given that social media profile pages only let you put in one website. You can give them your streamerlinks.com slash your username or handle, and that will have your Mixer, your YouTube, your Instagram, your Twitter, things like that, with a very nice, clean, minimalist, super basic, just ready to go, here's how you find me in all the places link, which is super handy. I know a lot of people have been requesting something like this. They want a website. They want something that can just link everybody to their places without a whole lot of hassle of buying web hosting and setting up a proper website and maintaining it. This is purely just, here are all of my streamer links. It is super straightforward. And I really think a lot of people could benefit from this. And for an example, here is my buddy Ice Orbs streamer links where you can view all of his different profiles. And I'm finally setting up my own because I frequently want to link people, you know, specific things. And I, it's hard to just sit there and spam a whole bunch of links when people are like, where can I find you? I don't want to be like here or here or here or here. I can just be like right here has everything. And you can upload your own avatar, get a nice profile picture going, customize your background, and you can even add a custom message at the top above your links. Number two is a really cool tool that I am just digging into and finding out. And all of this, you know, anything shown here may end up getting its own video, but that a buddy who was over at TwitchCon actually told me about they had a, you know, feature there and it's called Athenascope. And Athenascope uses machine learning to automatically find highlights in your specific Twitch VODs or video clips or even while you're playing a game to cut together a super easy highlight reel for you to share on social media or YouTube or whatever to kind of promote your stream, to share with friends, you know, to collect and archive the best moments from your hours and hours of live streaming. And even for me, a professional YouTube editor, professional, as you can say, full-time YouTube or uh, whenever I live stream, going back and trying to scrub through the hours of footage and find specific special moments or highlights to actually put together, it's something I want to do, but something that is so tedious and takes up so much time and I end up just never doing. This makes it really easy. Now, they only have a few supported games out of the box that it really works well with and otherwise you might have some issues. For example, I fed it a Modern Warfare beta uh, stream and it had a little bit of trouble, but from what it can do is actually really impressive. And they both have a Windows app that you can use to actually you know, detect highlights during your game and capture and sort those, or you can just feed it VODs and it will cut from there, which is really handy and for free for at least you know get, getting some basic usage out of it. So I will have that linked below with everything else. Next up is a service that one of our Super Squad members over on our Discord server at epilsvox.com slash Discord uh, recommends, and it is called Pretzel at pretzel.rocks, which is a music service, and they have an app that you can use as well to play music in your live stream that is royalty-free or otherwise whitelisted so that you won't get DMCA'd or muted or things like that. They actually have two different categories of music, so they have all of their music, which contains hours and hours and hours of music, and then they have a YouTube safe toggle you can turn on if you plan on moving any of your content over to YouTube or using it for YouTube that limits what music you have because some of it is still registered in the content ID system on YouTube and allows you to get some music going for your live stream that you retain ownership of your content without running into any major issues. They do have a free option. It does require some sort of chat attribution of you know, thanking them for providing the service or video descriptions on YouTube, or you can pay to not have that directly support the artists and get premium su support and things like that for about five bucks a month. Uh, the free option is of course what I'm 
talking about here in this free tools video. Uh, I haven't looked into it too deeply. I am always super skeptical and kind of hesitant to recommend uh, royalty free music libraries or YouTube channels, things like that, that aren't a service you're paying for or have a direct license you can print off from. Uh, these kind of like collections of safe music end up getting a lot of people into trouble, but Pretzel seems to be handling it the right way and seems to be going about it at, at least in a relatively correct way that I feel comfortable recommending it to you. Unless you have complete, you know, legally written a license, you're always going to have a little bit of risk involved with using someone else's music. But this is about as close as you can get, especially for free to stay kind of in the green with the rules on that. And it's something worth checking out because it has come very strongly recommended for my Discord server, so I would be remiss not to have recommended it. Lobo's second entry in today's video is another great tool. Now, it's not an entirely new concept, but it's one that you get to use and enjoy for now because these services keep shutting down. And that is a link shortener over at skip.gg. This allows you to get tracking information and data and things like that for your shortened links. And by default, they will be skip.gg slash the link, you know, shortened a bit. They allow you to get tracking information, find out who's clicking what. It integrates with your streamer links so you can find out if someone clicked from that to your mixer or to your YouTube or things like that, which is really cool. And you can integrate it with a custom domain, which is what I'm currently working on. I've always wanted to have my own URL shortener without manually managing my HTA access files to quickly link people and have my own little cool domain for it. And so I am working on setting that up as well. Pretty cool service. I'm excited to be using it. He's putting out some really cool tools for streamers and I really, I wanna see more people using them. And of course, again, it's free. Awesome. Do you ever want to save any clips or moments from your live stream, but don't have the ability or desire to like alt tab and control something or yell at chat to tell it to do it? Well, instead you can yell at your phone or your Amazon Echo device. Yeah, stream being, and that is not a weird twist on string being, <laughs> is, is the first voice powered Twitch AI. It allows you to control Twitch to make clips and things like that with your voice. By default, they are currently only supporting Siri on Apple devices, but they do have some tools coming in the works for supporting Alexa over on Amazon Echo devices. So if you have an Echo or an Echo Dot, or they have a million different ways you can voice control her now, you can set that up and just say, hey, save a clip, and it will do that. And that's really cool. Because otherwise, I'm I'm doing that with my own voice, but I'm just yelling at chat. I'm like, hey, chat, clip that. Did anybody clip that? You gonna clip that? Clip it! Oh my god, get the camera, clip it! And it'd be cool to just make sure that you have an AI clipping it for you, too. Pretty cool service. I, I will have a dedicated video on it at some point, but I'm super stoked to be checking it out, and it looks like a really neat idea. Lastly, and then I'm throwing in a bonus because I can never stick to the numbers that I list for these videos. We have Neat Clip. Neat Clip is a service and or a browser extension, depending on how you want to use it, to create clips, you know, like Twitch clips, where you save the last X seconds into a shareable video clip of video streams that don't natively support it like Twitch does. So that includes YouTube gaming streams, even Twitter, Instagram, Periscope live streams, Vimeo videos, YouTube videos, Mixer live streams, and that is the big one, is you can make Mixer clips for free with this. They're currently rolling out a beta of clips only for partners, but that's gonna be a little while before it gets to everybody. With neat clips, you can quickly make video clips to share based on pretty much anything. You can either feed it a URL of the video itself and it will gen it will let you control it to generate it, or you can install the browser extension and then it adds a button to the video player so you can just quickly make a clip which is really freaking handy. The only issue I've ran into is Discord doesn't seem to like the video, so it'll like embed the video, but then not play it back. And so you'll have to click out to the link to your browser to play it back. But I'm assuming they'll get that sorted if it's not sorted already, but really freaking cool. And this is the only real way for most people to make mixer clips at the moment, which is disappointing, but cool that this service is supplementing that functionality for now. So, and as far as I can tell, it's all free. Really awesome. And then as the bonus, I keep meaning to mention, and I wanted to mention here, Touch Portal. Touch Portal is a free macro deck software for your smartphone to remote control, OBS, streaming, things like that. It's basically like a free phone version of the stream deck, but really easy to use. They do have a pro upgrade to unlock a little bit of extra actions and things like that, but the base software is free. It's available on iOS and Android and Mac OS and Windows if desired. And they have a few free like icon packs and things like that. Some pretty cool stuff. And again, I'll have a dedicated video on that, but as a bonus, I wanted to go on and mention that so you can get in early and stay subscribed for me to check out some of these things in the video. 
Well, there you have it, six or seven, depending on how you look at it, free tools for live streamers. Which ones might you use? Which are you looking forward to most? Let me know in the comment section down below. Are there any other free tools that I missed that you think I should be recommending for streamers? Because I wanna make sure I get more and more options out there to you all that are free and doesn't don't cost you money to enhance your live stream experience. We're at a point where there's so many different options to really boost your live stream and increase your production value. I wanna make sure that you have all the tools available at your disposal. Let me know in the comment section down below, give each other's tips, things like that. Come chat with us and give recommendations for these over on our Discord server at epostvox.com slash Discord, as I mentioned earlier, and hit the like button if you enjoyed, subscribe for more tech education and stream guides. I'm Vox. Follow us on Floatplane where you can get early access to videos, things like that. If you do want to spend money and get some cool stream alert sounds, I do have a Fiverr gig over at, I believe it's just fiverr.com slash ebosvox. It will be linked below where you can get some really awesome epic like Quake style alerts and things like that for your live stream. I'll see you in the next one. And that is a link over on our Discord server. At, is there any or seven, depending on how you look at it, free tools for live streamers. Let me know which one you're most looking forward